Hey golf people, on today's episode, I'm testing out the Tommy Armor 845s. Now these were clubs that I bought at Dick's Sporting Goods, a big box retailer for only $65 per club. Really great value, but how do they perform on course? I'm gonna walk you through all of my shots out here as we test them out. And guys, stick around to the end of the video because I'm actually going to give you an opportunity to win this set of golf clubs for yourself. The exact set I'm playing right now, I'm giving them away and you could win. We got 111. I'm gonna go pitching wedge here. It's morning, it's early. I'm not completely warmed up, so I'd rather be long than short. This cup in the air, very high. That's the one thing about these clubs. Woo, got up in the air high. A little higher launch than I'm used to. A little short there. So one thing I found out about these clubs is I really love the sound and feel of them both out on the range and testing these in my simulator. They're probably some of the best feeling clubs bar none I've ever tested and definitely in the game improvement category, they're number one for me in terms of sound and feel off the club face. That pitching wedge had a little higher launch than I'm used to, but that's just something I've got to adjust to. A lot of you will like the fact that you can get the ball up in the air very easy with these clubs, especially you higher handicaps out there. Let's hit a good drive here. We've got a long par five, probably gonna be three shots to the green straight away just got to get off the tee well here and then we'll be in good shape i pushed that thing dead right all right so uh this will give us an opportunity though i always look for the blessing in disguise this will give us an opportunity to see if we can flight our irons a little lower and get ourselves out of trouble so this will be all about control because i'm probably going to be in the trees here let's find out Well guys, how about that for control? I took it right through that very narrow gap there in the trees and we are back into play. I wasn't sure I could pull that shot off, but we did. We're gonna have at least a very long iron in our hands now though, because we are a ways out. Well guys, here we find it in the rough. That actually worked out pretty well. It's not gonna be too bad. We've got 172. I've got to go five iron here out of this thick rough and we'll see if we can get it up in the air. But that was a very good shot. Looking like the middle of the green. I'm pretty sure we're up there. I gotta say, that was a pretty nasty lie. And that ball got up in here really nice and easy. Gotta love that about these clubs. Let's go make a putt. Gotta say guys, that was one of the better golf shots I've hit this year because that was kind of a nasty lie. And I would have been very happy if I landed it right in this area, like 10 or 15 yards short. But as it stands, we're right on the green in really good shape. faster than I expected on these punched greens. So now we've got a tough putt. All of a sudden we went from a birdie try to just trying to save par and avoid a bogey here. Oh. Woo. Didn't want the putter to let us down there guys. So I'm glad we escaped. I feel like we escaped for sure there with the par after that drive and first putt. All right, on to three. We've got a par three coming up. Should be kind of a short one. We should have an eight or nine iron in our hand. Well guys, we've got 132, but wind is a little bit against us. And if I'm gonna make an ace, I gotta feel like I've gotta land it a little short and have it trickle in. So I'm gonna hit an eight here, try to flight it a little lower. there. It came off the club well. I kind of overcooked it a little bit and I don't know if it landed on the green or a little left but it should be pretty pin high. Now you probably noticed but I've been using my Stewart Golf Follow Caddy. I did a review on this one recently and it's available at our sponsor playbetter.com. Playbetter has the best prices on the internet. This thing is absolutely amazing. I feel so free so unencumbered and it definitely saves me a little bit of energy too. playbetter.com check out the stewart golf q follow and all the golf technology that they have available free 48 hour shipping in the united states you've got an easy hassle-free 60-day return policy they make it so easy to go shopping for the right technology for your game playbetter.com check them out yeah so real good for distance but uh it landed in here and kind of took off a little left 
here we go here's the pin i'm gonna set the camera hopefully get us tight only in would have been better than that <laughs> okay guys well we're hanging even par here i would like to hit a couple more greens in regulation we've got one on two there miraculously we should have done it there but i am liking these clubs what i not only see out of them but also like i said before hear and feel out of them next we've got a long par four this is the toughest hole on the course on all 27 holes we've got to get off the tee well and then we're gonna have another long iron to maybe mid iron if we really crush one but we're into the wind so don't think that that's likely most likely we'll have a five or six iron in our hands at best this is one of those holes where I'd just like to get out of here with a par. A birdie, obviously, icing on the cake, but par is really the score I'm going for here. Ooh, it was a bad drop. That was really nasty. It's going to be tough to get there in two now, but that's going to give us a chance to hit a couple of iron shots on this hole. Guys, one of the worst drives I've hit all year, and I'll tell you why that happened. I was in between in my thoughts. Am I going to fade this ball? Am I going to draw this ball? Where the tee boxes were really sets up better for a fade. However, I've got the wind into me and I need a little bit more power. And when you're undecided and you don't commit, that's when bad golf shots like that happen. So when you're in between, step off the ball, commit to one shot, and it's going to save you from doing what I just did, which is maybe going to cost us a bogey here, but we're going to see if we can make a real tough par. Well, it's not as bad as I thought, but I still don't think I could really get there. Just because I'm on a side hill lie, it's hard to see on the camera but it's pretty severely sloped. I've got 170 to the guys that are standing up on that green up there. It's just so narrow in this area, there's not a whole lot of room to miss, guys. So I think I'm gonna lay it into here where there, it's actually a little bit <laughs> bigger than you think. I'm gonna hit probably our attack wedge. It's probably gonna be attack wedge, attack wedge, honestly. Let's see what we can do. Pretty perfect, just where I wanted to be. All right, 91 yards, so I think this is the right club again. Oh, that's a good shot. Nice and high. Right at it. Oh, guys, I think we might make a par here after all. At least we've got a chance. One time. Oh, if I hit it, it was in. If I hit it, it was in. But we limited the damage after a really poor drive. Now, let's hopefully have our driver make up for it in this next hole. Well, guys, honestly, I feel pretty good about how I'm playing. If I can just get this driver under control. And it's so funny because I hit so many drives this spring, I really had this thing dialed in. So once you go to irons, you know, it's always hard in golf to put everything together. We're going to do it today, though. It's still a lot of golf to be played here. Fifth hole, this is a birdie hole. Uphill, dog leg left. Just got to get off the tee with a decent drive, and we should have a short approach shot in. There we go. That's what we want to see. That is position A, guys. Now I took a much smoother swing there. Uh, I need to do that all the time. It always goes almost as far. Because <laughs> golf is more about timing than power most of the time. I'm loving the feel of these irons right now, guys. And I'm feeling really confident after those two A wedge shots. That second one was right on line. Just hit it a little further than I thought again. First time out on course, I don't exactly know how far I hit these clubs, but I'd rather be long than short on most holes here at Carrollwood. So I'm feeling confident. Let's see if we can get one tight. That last one I hit mm, 95 yards. I've got 107 here. So I think pitching wedge is the right club. Same wind conditions because we're going in the same direction as last hole. I think pitching wedge should be about perfect. Oh boy, that's nice and high. Hey, great for distance. I pushed it just a little bit, but we've got a birdie putt. Oh, that was another one where if we just hit it, it was in. But again, loving these irons right now in terms of the height they're getting. Definitely not the same distance, but they're not as strongly lofted as my normal gamers so i am okay with that as well if you're looking for some super distance these might not be the best clubs for you but the trade-off there is the fact that you're going to get a nice high lofted shot that lands softly and 
that is preferred by a lot of people, guys, when you can control your distance. I've been able to control my distance pretty well here the last couple of holes. We've got a par three and I'd love to control my distance really well here, guys. Let's see if we can get one tight. Now this is 157. Again, slightly, just ever so slightly uphill. That shouldn't make much of a difference, but the wind again, slightly against us as well. Either way, I'm gonna go six iron. These are golf reviews from a mere mortal. I know the pros would be hitting like a wedge into this one, but I'm going six iron and hopefully it's going to go nice and high and stop really close to the hole. We can get back to even par, but right now we are only one over. So we're looking very good for our over under of plus three. Good shot, really good shot. Middle of the green, rolling towards the back. That was perfect. I took an easier swing, wasn't trying to impress anyone. Gotta say that one was even just a little slightly thin. It wasn't a skull or anything like that, but I was at least one groove off of where I would like to be striking the ball. But that worked out perfectly. I had a little extra club in my hand, I knew that. And I'd rather take an easy swing than really go after it because too many things happen with that. Smooth and steady for me at least wins the race. Settle. Settle. Really tough to get the speeds right with these punched greens. Oh, geez. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> can't believe I'm walking off the green with a bogey there. Three putts. It's not the irons letting us down. It's the driver and the putter right now. Ooh, that hurts. But we've got a par five here. We can come back. We've got a dog leg right. It's a long one. It's going to be a three shot par five again. But a couple good shots. Get ourselves in position. I trust these irons right now. I'm starting to hit some greens, so I'm feeling pretty good with them. Well guys, we've got this and two more holes, so basically three holes to play, and we've still got a one stroke cushion on our over under. So like I said, I think these irons are performing very, very well. It was the putter that definitely let us down right there. But I'm not a person who likes to settle. We've had some really good rounds on here with some clubs, including the Costco Callaway Edge set, another budget set you should check out. Actually, it's right here. I'll leave a link to that video. And yeah, I think these clubs are definitely as good as those ones. Now, of course, that's a package set. We're talking just irons here, but Tommy Armour does make drivers and woods to go along with these, which we may have to test on this channel in future videos. But in terms of irons, really happy with the results. I personally need a little bit more distance because, you know, guys, I'm a mere mortal. But that said, <laughs> they're only about a half a club off from what I'm normally hitting anyway, so not a huge deal. I can just take one more club in there. So easy to get up in the air. I don't think that's gonna hurt me. Well guys, we've got 120, which is a great place to be where we are into the wind and bunker in front. So again, rather be a little long here than short. I'm surprised I'm saying this, but first time we get to actually try out the nine iron. Usually I'm hitting this a lot down here on this particular course. First time today. Oh gosh, that feels good. And that is as high as my 50 degree wedge, it seems like. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't believe it, but we came up short, we're in the sand. It was too high. It just launched a little too high into this wind. Well, guys, this is almost unfair. Here's the pin front of the green. Oh my gosh, look at this lie. <laughs> Got a nice sunny side up egg early in the morning here. Whew. I'm just gonna have to try to pound this thing out and hope and pray, pretty much close my eyes. Let's see what we can do. That was a bad break though. Sometimes the golf gods giveth, and that time they definitely took us away. <laughs> Cost us a stroke. We're right on our over under here. So we've got two holes, but finally, finally, we've got the wind with us. It should get a little easier here, although these two holes aren't easy. All right, 131. Going well, back to the nine iron here. Pins in the middle, wind behind us. That 
a good shot. Two putts would be fantastic right here. All right, guys, well, we are right on the number. We've got to make par or better here on the ninth hole, or it's going to be a sad day because I feel like these irons did really well. All right, guys, 149. I'm going to go seven iron. This is middle of the green. The only place I can't really miss is left because there's a big bunker. Even right, there is water, but it, I don't think I could miss it that far right. So love to just hit the green here and get a two putt and get out of here. Not a great lie, though, in the rough. So. <laughs> could have a flyer here. Did catch a little bit of a flyer. It actually hit the green and then rolled off towards the back, but I think I can get up and down. Well, guys, I gotta say, I do feel a little bit of pressure here. The heart rate is elevated, and that's because I really want to do justice by these clubs. They are so good for the money. You're talking $65 in iron. Very hard to beat. As long as distance is not what you need specifically, and you need more control, more accuracy, more lift in those shots, more feel, these could be the clubs for you. So I'm really hoping I can get up and down here. We can win our over under and I can wrap things up on a good note for you. Now that actually ended up being pretty much pin high, just in front of that bunker here. The chipping was pretty good today. The putting, not so much. <laughs> Luckily we didn't have much of a putt there guys, but we did it. These clubs officially passed our test. No thanks to my driver and to the putter today, but man, am I happy. Hey guys, in the beginning of the video, I said you could win these clubs and you can. There is a link down in the description. Make sure that you are subscribed to this show. Hit the link, fill out the very simple form with your name and email, and you will be entered into the contest. We will draw a winner when this video hits 1,000 likes. So also like the video, hit the form, and Cross your fingers. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Here's another video I think you're really going to love. And please do hit subscribe because it does help grow the show. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.